guys, it's me, Anrichi, and welcome back to my channel. And today's episode is I'm sure na makakatulong sa inyo dahil magagamit nyo ito sa pag-fill up ng form. Meron din siyang electronic signature. So, gusto nyo bang malaman kung anong tool ito? Tara, simulan natin panoodin. So guys, we are here in as a Google. So the first step that we will do is type in the Adobe Acrobat PC. And then you will look for the app here. Adobe Acrobat app. You will click on it. So we are here na. So we have two options. The first one is the one that you will download. The second one is just a pro trial. It's a 7-day free trial. Then after that, you have to buy the premium. So, anong difference nila ang dalawa? Ito kasi, ginagamit siya for printing, signing, and annotating PDF. Yung Ac Acrobat Pro DC naman, ginagamit siya pag nagka-create ka, or nagko-convert ka, or nag -e edit ka ng PDF. But it's just 7-day free. Then after that, to continue, you have to buy their premium. So if I were you, you download this one because this one, after 7 day free trial mo, you can continue using it. Pero hindi lahat ng tools na yon magagamit mo. But it doesn't matter. I have been using this for many years so wala naman ako naging problem. I also recommend it to my student to download para maging smooth yung mga classes namin. If they have this one on their desktop, they can answer it directly. Kasi nasa save siya, then they will send it to me for checking. Or they can share a screen so I can see how they answer. So I can help them kapag may problem sila. Pwede namin makorek yung mga mistakes. So very essential siya sa mga working, especially yung mga nag-work sa ESL. Sa mga student, pwede din siyang i-download even sa phone because online classes na kayong lahat. So, this one is very useful especially pag si teacher nag-send ng mga exercises to answer online. If you have this, sagutin nyo lang tapos i-save nyo then send it back to your teachers. Okay, so hindi ko na siya i-download because I already have one as I said earlier. So, click on natin itong file. I will get a sample form. Then, I will show you how to use it. So, meron siyang mga tools dito sa side na to. Hindi lahat siya magagamit nyo. Actually, this one only and then this one that will unsign. So, I will explain first kung ano yung mga tools na pwede natin magamit. Doon sa hindi natin binabayaran. Kasi kapag gusto nyo magkaroon ng more tools, magbabayad kayo ng premium. But then, yung iba kasi hindi ko na kailangan eh. On my next video, I will just teach you on how to convert your word form into PDF so that hindi nyo na kailangan mag-create or bumili ng premium sa kanila. So you can just do it on your own. I will teach you that one. So, let's go to their tools. Ito yung tools nila. So, as I said, ito yung mga pwede natin gamitin. Pero hindi lahat. So, go back tayo. This is the save button. This is for printing. This is for searching. This is for cutting. This is for going up and going down. Now, if you know naman yung page number, you can manually type it. So, so, since this is only one page, kaya number one na siya. So, this one is the arrow one, the one that you're seeing. You use this for pointing. And then, this one is for pan around the documents. So, you can grab your documents with this hand. Yan, hand. Then, this one is for zooming out. And this one is for zooming in. Now, if you want, you can manually type kung anong gusto mong size. So, you can resize it. So, this one use is for fit to width scrolling. So, pag if fit to width, ayan, occupy niya yung space on the side. And then, yung fit to one full page, ito yan. Mm. 
Same sila ng read mo mode. Ayan. So, this one is used for your tools. If you want it downward, you can click on it. And if you want it back, click it back. Okay. So, this is for commenting. Let's resize it back. Okay. So, this one, halimbawa, may mga important na notes kayo, you can just type here. Um, please check. Yeah. Then, pause it. Then, doon sa makaka-receive makaka nito ng documents nyo. If they see this one, it's just point lang nila. Yan. Mga important notes. That's why I said it's very important sa mga working online. And then, the next one is the highlight. So, you can highlight anything there. You can also delete it. Very important to kapag meron kayo mga students yung mga ESL teacher dyan, students, or mga special instruction na gusto nyo i-highlight, or mga words and sentences, you can also delete this one by right-clicking. And then, ito yung uh, use for drawing and signature. Then, the last one is for editing the images and text. So, we will click on this one. So, there will be another tool we'll show downward. This is used for adding text, for adding cross, or check. Then, this is for boxing a word or a sentences and putting an underline. And this one is for shading. So, the next one is the add signature and adding initial. Later on, I will show you on how to use this. And the last one is the color. You can change the color of your text. So, I will use only black because ito yung very common pa nag-fill up tayo ng form. So, so, guys, I will explain first the text. So, if you're going to type, I will type my name. You can caps lock it para maging capitalized siya. And here, you can resize it into smaller one. Then, you can also resize it into bigger one. Pero, hindi nyo siya mag-change yung font. I'm not sure if meron silang other fonts sa premium. So, the next one is the delete button. So, this one will just look like this. It will just put box on each of the words or numbers that you're gonna type in. But, I don't need that. And then here, the three dots represent the same tools as above. And you can also, as I said, change the color depending on your liking. And then in here, we have to put a check. So I'm going to use this one. There you go. If you want to put an X, uh, for example, like that. So this one is used for shading for halimbawa nag-e-exam yung mga estudyante diba merong part on the shade the exercise you can just click on delete and then eto naman is for lining yan for underline and then this one is used for boxing the words mm, yan ayan lang yung mga use niya so proceed na tayo sa sign let's scroll down Okay, so applicant signature tayo. We have three ways to use the adding signature. You just click on it. So, the first one is typing. So, you type your name and Richie. And then, click on apply. You can save your signature. But if you don't want it, you just unclick it. So, there you go. So, once you have your type word signature, you can reposition it. There you go. Now, the second one naman, you just double-click it. As I said, you can unclick this one para hindi ma-save in signature. The second one is you can use drawing. So, you can use your mouse to sign. Then, if you're not happy with your signature here, if you want changes, click on clear. Then you can do again. If you're using your cell phone, meron namang mga pen kayo dyan. Sa cell phone, you can use that. 
then I'm happy with the signature yan so yan here you are hmm. ganyan lang siya so yun the third one naman is you can add image if you have downloaded signature on your desktop you just grab it by clicking on the images naka save yan sa folder then click on apply so since i don't have i will show you this one Yan. So, ganyan lang siya kadali. Ito na yung tools na gagamitin niya for filling up forms. Then, the next one is this one. If you click on comment, yan, there will be another tools to appear. But, hindi lahat siya magagamit. So, as I said, the comment thing, highlight. So, this one is for underlining the words. Uh, putting lines in the middle. And then the pencil and erasing and stamping so ito lang yung mga tools na pwede yung gamitin here so going back you just click on close so if you're happy with your form you just click on save and then you can save it in any part of your file so after mo na siya ma-fill up pwede mo na siyang isend through email sa work mo or sa school okay ganun lang siya kadali Hi guys, thank you for watching and if you like the videos, please click on like and if you have any suggestion, you can comment down below and please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell button for more of my videos. I'll see you then. Bye!